Facebook's Cambridge Analytica scandal is fueling the debate over how to protect digital information, and not just the stuff that you post on Facebook. David Begno met one young hacker from Texas who's raising awareness about growing cyber threats. Hi, everybody. Reuben Paul is 12 years old, and he's helping to lead the conversation on cybersecurity. It's uh, pretty dangerous. Presenting in the Netherlands. We shoot the drone. Advising a tech conference in Singapore. Thank you. That was an amazing presentation. And wowing a crowd full of executives in Texas. It is important that we need to reinvent cybersecurity because obviously what we have invented so far is clearly not working. This cyber ninja, as he calls himself, has a second degree black belt in Kung Fu, and he's on a mission to show how hacking is child's play. If a 12 year old can do it, what makes it that somebody who is a skilled actual cyber terrorist, what what makes it that they can't do it? This Bluetooth is going into new autonomous cars, autonomous drones. It's going into medical devices. Paul says that the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connections that we use almost every day are extremely vulnerable to hacking. I'll never connect to a public Wi-Fi that I don't know. Really? Somebody can just hack into that Wi-Fi network and poison it. He showed me firsthand how a hacker's poison can spread from a Wi-Fi signal. I successfully know your password. How you know my password? And have hacked you. Your login was David yeah, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, uh, yep, let's bleep that out. <laughs> wow. So, uh, call me gullible. You got me. It took seconds. He had my Twitter username and password using a fake page that he'd cloned after I connected to his public Wi-Fi network. It's that easy. Mm -hmm. So in other words, if I was sitting at a Starbucks, mm -hmm. I went to sign into Twitter, yes. I put it in, mm -hmm. they got it. Mm -hmm. Now, staying in touch is easy and fun. Paul also hacked CloudPet's teddy bear. It uses Bluetooth technology, allowing traveling parents to send messages back to their kids. What did you do that turns that into a threat? Without any notification or uh, any knowledge of the user, I could turn it on from my computer, which only has to be in a 30-foot radius of the bear. So I could stand outside somebody's house. He turned the bear into a secret recording device. How did you get this thing cyber ninja? Who's the smartest one in the family? <laughs> <laughs> the Paul family of four is hopeful about the future of cybersecurity. Ruben's parents, Mano and Sangita, both work in technology. And his six-year-old brother, Itai, is even so, joining him on stage now. Can you show us this? Sure, I talked to another ask. When they shine at it and are liking what they do, mm. it gives you a feeling of contentment. With Ruben speaking at these conferences and being paid thousands of dollars to travel there and sometimes a speaker's fee, do you worry that it gets a little out of control for a 12-year-old? First and foremost, the kids do it because they have a passion for it, right? It should never become a job for them. So if tomorrow they come back and they say, not interested in doing this, it's perfectly fine with my wife and I. Yeah. Ruben says in the future he wants to work for the NSA or the FBI, protecting the country against foreign and domestic cyber threats. Has anyone called you? I feel like they should be recruiting you now. I've had some uh, offers from the government of the Netherlands and uh, even the uh, Department of Defense. Did you tell them what, I got to graduate first? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I want to get done with sixth grade first before I start uh. thinking about jobs. He wants to get done with sixth grade, then he'll worry about all those something. offers. Kids are so above. Yeah. How do you do and that? And what he can figure out, and showing David Begno what he was able to do right there in right front there of him. Right there in front of him. Yeah. Oh. So interesting.